Welcome back, my fellow Chibits, to a new episode of Ace Attorney. And I gotta say, this episode was leaps and bounds above the first episode. The first episode was great, don't get me wrong. I loved the setting, I loved the way it set up the art and animation to the characters, and I, I just loved it. It was a really good first episode to let me know what to expect from the series. But this second episode, it is a very... Very good improvement to the series. It definitely is. And I want to first talk about something a couple of you Chivas mentioned in the comments when it came to the last, you know, review or first impressions I did of Ace Attorney. I was asking if, you know, there would be more darker cases and stuff like that. And a bunch of you Chivas that have played the games let me know that, yes, there is some very mature cases, some dark cases, some crazy stuff that goes on in the series. And so it got me pretty damn hyped up to know that I can expect some really great things and probably some things that really get my mind ticking. Like, okay, so how did this person do this? Okay, is this person really guilty? And, you know, it got me thinking, like, holy shit, this is going to be an awesome series because I've always loved these type of series and stuff. And seeing Seeing how it's going to probably get into some of this stuff, I'm excited. So I just want to say I want to thank every Chibit last week that gave me some, you know, answers to what I could possibly expect from Ace Attorney and definitely something I'm going to continue watching. So enough of that though, let's talk about the episode. So the reason why I feel like this episode is leaps and bounds above the previous episode is for one there's a lot more time going into this case for instance there's a lot of build up a lot of setup for what is going to happen next week and also we have some background and some characterization for our MC and also this case has a lot of personal meaning to the MC for instance we come to find out why the main character wants to be a lawyer why he's an attorney and like why he's doing what he's doing in the past we get like a brief flashback he was in a point of time to where he was being accused of being a thief he was like being yelled at by his entire class saying thief 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 and i mean many might think that's nothing important that's something that you really shouldn't care about but as a child that's young and if you're in a classroom and you have the entire class like 20 plus people sitting there and yelling at you saying you're a thief and calling you something that you know in your heart you're not that's going to have some form of effect on your person and when you think about it like that it's understandable how he became who he is and used that to change himself and to become someone that wants to help someone out that's probably in the exact same position as he was and i love that correlation between his you know character development he got throughout his childhood to his adulthood to the point of why he became an attorney at law and is currently helping people out. Very noble reason, and he's a good man for that. So, I have to say, when it came to the case, though, what, what's currently going on, it's a pretty standard setup for a case you would see in a series such as this. For instance, a person has been murdered, and apparently a younger sister that was there at the wrong time, she's currently being accused of murdering her older sister, which this has a lot of, you know, I guess, uh, emotions to it because we kind of knew this character that was murdered in this episode even though we didn't get a whole lot of time to grow connected with this chief it's still sad because i mean the character i thought she was going to be with the series for a good long time because i mean you know the first episode she was you know watching over our main character and then all of a sudden you know she dies and i mean at the end of last week's episode it implied she was murdered or killed or something but i didn't think that was really going to happen i thought it was kind of trying to throw us off or something but apparently she did die and that's the first big case we're getting into which is a little bit dark actually i mean seriously your boss gets fucking murdered and your second case you ever have to do when you become an attorney at law is to fight for your boss's younger sister it's pretty fucking dark if you think about it like that but anyways so i gotta say rmc the way he carries himself and the way he goes as far as he did for this younger sister and he went all over the place to find a lawyer that would you know pick up her case it was noble it was a very noble thing and not many people i think would go that far for someone i mean for someone he barely knows. I mean, he knew his chief. We don't really know exactly how long he knew his boss. We don't know if it was months. We don't know if it was a week. We don't know if it was years. It, we're not really told how long he really knew this boss of his. But it goes to show you how much he does care about people. And at the very least, even if he didn't know his boss for a very long time, it shows what type of personality he has to go as far as he did for someone that wasn't even taking him as a possible lawyer at the time. So it goes to show you his determination how far he will go for someone else so definitely a character trait that we need to keep track of when it comes to the future of this series now talking about the antagonist of 
the main plot going on. For instance, of Ace Attorney, there's this dude that currently is someone that's been a prodigy. He's constantly won every single legal battle he's been in, and he's never lost, which is a crazy track record. When you become a lawyer that can constantly win every single battle, and he can make everyone that he goes up against guilty, that's pretty damn scary. Now, I have to say... I don't know who's probably going to win. I highly doubt, I really doubt that our main character is going to lose against this guy. But there is a possibility since it's so early on in the series. I believe that maybe RMC might lose. I, I think there is a possibility he could. Because, I mean, with characters, they can't be perfect. That that's the first thing. When you write a character and you make, like, a, a great character, you cannot have a character... You know be perfect right at the beginning a character needs to go through a lot of trial and error he needs to fail some he needs to lose his way and then get back up on that horse and be able to carry himself to the goal he set out to do and maybe the mc has already experienced that in his past which i mean he already showed that he had some issues in his past because people were calling him a thief but still we don't know exactly what else it might have happened we don't know if he's failed any other cases or different things that's happened in his life we don't know that so I'm willing to bet that either A, he's going to win this with an unexpected outcome and he's just going to be amazing, or B, he's going to fail this so hard it's going to change into where he becomes a better lawyer and he comes back even stronger than he was before. One or the other is going to happen, but I will say, however, I am looking forward to this case that's going to happen because, I mean, with, you know, him now trying to fight for the, uh, non-guilty status of the little sister i wonder exactly how this dude is going to pin it on her so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below you all have a wonderful day or nights wherever you live please be safe chibi out